Hey guys, my name is Carson and today we're going to be talking about utilizing the many different folder options in Microsoft Outlook. This will help you save time, become more organized, and increase your productivity over time. So let's get started with step one, just creating a folder. So you can create a regular folder and a subfolder. An example of a regular folder would be your inbox, it would be your deleted items, and your groups. I have an example of some subfolders for you and they would be uh, these right here. So let's just start off with creating a regular folder. So if we uh, disband that selection, we can see we just have our names here. We can right click, we can press new folder, and then I will just put regular folder right here. And they can also create a subfolder based off that as well. So you can go to your inbox here, that would be an example of a regular folder, and you can create a subfolder based on that. So this one will be subfolder. And to see these, you're just simply expanding the selection. Creating folders is all about organization and keeping tabs on what's coming in and being able to differentiate it and also know what's going out. So I think of the example as a accounting manager. They have accounts receivable and they also have accounts payable, two separate entities that um, relate to each other but are totally different. So if I go through my entire email here, I have 936 emails. That can be a lot. To, they can be a lot of emails to sort. And if you're not reading the subject line, you couldn't possibly know uh, which email relates to what and where they should belong. So this is where creating a subfolder becomes a very helpful habit to have. So I'm going to go back into the subfolder I have here, and we're going to rename this one to accounting. And I mentioned two subfolders, so we have accounting receivable, so we'll do AR, and then we'll have accounting payable, so accounts payable, and we'll make that AP. So in my inbox here, I have two emails from Dave. One is a order confirmation, uh, so maybe this has accounts receivable information, so we'll put that in the accounts receivable. And then the other one, we have an invoice, uh, so I'm going to put that in the accounts payable. It can be time consuming to sort your own emails, especially if you're receiving frequent emails from the same person over and over and over, or if there may be a frequent customer of yours, or maybe even someone in your team that uh, you're collaborating with, collaborating with quite a bit. So my situation, I have Dale here. I have created a subfolder for him uh, because we communicate quite frequently. Another way that you can use your subfolders here is I have a class email and I have two classes in particular that I get a lot of emails from, so I've created a subfolder based off that. So besides that, uh, how we can do that is we can go ahead in our inbox here, we can create another subfolder. And for this one, I'm going to put Dave B. So I receive a lot of uh, information from Dave, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this a folder here. So I'm going to search email from Dave. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and right click, and we're going to press rules. So always move messages from Davion Bradley. This means that every single message that I receive from him, I can choose where this goes. So I've just created the correct folder for it. So every single message that I receive from Davion uh, is going to go into the Dave B folder. So it's going to take a second to process. And let's go to that Dave B folder and let's take a look of uh, like what that's looking like here. So now we have every single uh, email that has come from Dave now in this inbox. There's other unique ways that you can sort your inbox. So if you go into the folder tab here, and we have the new search folder options, we press that, we can actually sort by mail with attachments. So it's just another option. There's many different options here for you to choose from. Uh, but if we press mail with attachments, that will sort any mail that has a photo or that has a video on there. So if we go here, we just have an Excel list that Casey sent us. Additionally, you can sort based off specific words as well. So mail with specific words, and we can actually choose these words. So I'm going to go ahead and choose marketing. I'm on the marketing team here, and I prefer to sort uh, emails based on, or, or that contain marketing in it. So we press add, press OK, press OK once again, and now we have a 
subfolder that contains every single word that says, or every single email that says the word marketing in it. Do us a huge favor. If you're enjoying our Sundog Tech Tip Tuesdays, give us a like and then hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys, we'll see you again next time. Thank <music> you.